This is coming along beautifully, Shamarani Didi. Yeah, a little bit every day is improving a little every day. This is your last painting. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, the reason being that there's a saying from a famous artist, somebody like Picasso or somebody like that, that life is short and art is long. So this is already taking so many years on and off. And I know I don't have any, so many years left. And I have other publication work that I want to do. And when this COVID scare is over, I also want to travel and, you know, help people around the world by giving classes and things. So this just t- t- super ties me down. Not be able to do anything else. And then every time I think something is nice, and I come back the next day, and I don't like it anymore, then I change it. Then the next day I come back, and then I don't change. Then I change that, and I'm just being driven crazy wow. by this thing. Now you're responsible for a lot of the work um, at the beginning of Prabhupada coming to yeah. coming to America, and, and our Bhagavad Gita has a lot of your... Totally his mercy. Wow. But how yeah. many pieces do you reckon that you have? That you've well, painted yourself masterpieces. Masterpieces, create, I create. haven't created any. Any mercy, any success is uh, Prabhupada's mercy and my Shiksha Guru's mercy, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, who began um, engaging me and continuing Prabhupada's mission of the art and philosophy. So, uh, I didn't create any masterpieces. If any of them are masterpieces, it's their mercy. How many? I would say a few hundred. A few hundred worldwide, huh? Worldwide means? In temples and in houses. Temples, private houses, collections. private collections, books. Mostly books, I would say. I'm going to get a close-up of some of this work real quick. Yeah. I think people need to see the fine, amazing, magical detail. All right. That sounds great. Here we go. This is beautiful. The peacocks are just so... Peacocks are amazing. And uh, there's one uh, Russian devotee named Dina Bandu. Uh, he was a BBT painter for many years, painting for Prabhupada's Russian translations. Mm-hmm. And he sometimes he does touches ups and just refines the thing and yes. makes it even better. Yes, that's beautiful. Right. Wow, Lord Krishna, Brother Rani. Yeah, I'll move back so you can sure. have a better view. An original, beautiful, last masterpiece Uh. of Shama Rani Didi. Just coffee table book as well with your artwork that will be coming out soon as well. Can we expound on that? Yeah, um, in 2006, my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, requested me to make a coffee table book. He said, just like in ISKCON, they have these big coffee table books. He said, so I want you to do a coffee table book of all the paintings that uh, you did for Prabhupada and for me. So I have, um, we have hundreds of those. And then I also have a 
a sample of one sample each of my uh, of other ISKCON painters and other painters who serve Srila Gurudev's books. So we have about um, like 60 or 70 of the one each and then a few hundred of mine and many of what a team of us did. Like for example, in Govardhan, uh, Govardhan and Vrindavan, um, Srila Gurudev requested me to get a team together to make bas reliefs, that is three-dimensional, uh, kind of not quite sculpture, not flat, uh, paintings of Govardhan Lila, which we did and which are all over his temple, and some of them are six feet high or more than that, and some are six feet wide or ten feet wide of Krishna's various Govardhan pastimes. So that's also in the book. And we put real um, Indian jewelry on the bas reliefs. I could show you pictures of it, actually, if you want to see. Okay. And um, so that looks very interesting. You have, you have almost three-dimensional pictures, and then you have real jewelry. When do we expect this book to come out? Well, uh, we expected uh, for Kartik, which means we would have sent it to the printers in September, but um, one thing after another led it to be more than that because, uh, like for example, even though I was working on the book for so many years, it was just a couple of weeks ago that I noticed that uh, because of the photography, many of the pictures has like glare on it. Right. Like it's glare, but it comes out as white dots, white scratches all over the place. And at least a hundred paintings are like that. And I just noticed that recently. So now we have to have a graphic or a few graphic artists to get rid of that, 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 right, that. Right. And that's going to take a while. So one thing after another, things took a while. Okay. So maybe about half a year. I would say, well, now we're trying for um, November. Got it. November's good. Well, and the printer is going to also take five weeks to print once we give it to them. Okay. I see. Which I think is November. So it may be January, and they have a lot of pre-press work. So it may be for Gaur Purnima instead of Karti. What is the name of the book? Copy. It's called Bhakti Art Illuminations. Bhakti Art Illuminations. Yeah. It's That's the, what we will look for. Okay. Bhakti it's, Art. I don't have any Bhakti, but the art is all in relation to Krishna's pastimes, uh, his incarnations, his associates, and the guiding forces are pure devotees. So because of them, and because of the subject matter, it's called Bhakti Art Illuminations. Absolutely, it's amazing. Just incredible. Things just get more incredible as the days go by. They do. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Shamarani, can yes. you tell us a little bit about, for people who don't know, what this painting represents? Who, who, the, who, the, who they are? Sure. Such beautiful detail. This is Radha. Radha is, like if you're speaking about Siddhanta or philosophy, Radha is Krishna's power. Krishna's God, according to the Vedic literatures, Radha is Krishna's power. All these beautiful girls called gopis are her expansions and her, like my power is meant to give me pleasure, right? That's a perverted reflection of Krishna's power to give his him pleasure. And they create, she creates millions of universes, spiritual ones, material ones, and they also have pastimes together. So here, she and her expansion gopis 
are singing and dancing and playing musical instruments for the pleasure of Krishna, just like we do today. But this is the origin. Wow, that is just beautiful. Thank you so much. For thank that. you so yeah, much. That, um, beautiful portrayal of this beautiful painting. Oh, thank you. Finished in uh, how long? Well, we're trying for Radhastami, which is in a week. Okay, in a week. But uh, I cannot say that it will be because man proposes and God disposes. But there we're you trying. Go. And hopefully a week, folks. A yes, week. hopefully. This beautiful last painting of Shamarani Dasi. Okay. Thank you. Uh, wait, we have to wait a little. Yeah. All right, thank you. I think that came out of me. Great. So you have your book that's coming out. It'll be here within hours. Book? Cases of uh, the art of spiritual life. You mm -hmm. gifted me one. Mm -hmm. And I did leave it up in Dallas, but I will be bringing it back. We'll be carrying your book on, at uh, KrishnaCulture.com. Mm. And there's other places to, to purchase them. I'll leave the links as well. A little bit about the book, if you can just maybe some details people might want to know before purchasing or looking through the book. Well, uh, basically it talks about... Uh, when I, what were the very few pages leading up to the moment that I met Srila Prabhupada in 1966 in that famous Tompkins Square Park, and then uh, how he trained me in art, and how I was, me and so many other devotees were also. Uh, attended his so many Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam classes and then he first asked me to paint for his temples and then for his books and then more and more art artists came then we had a whole team and we got like 90 letters from him answering questions about what so and so looked like what did this hut look like? Like any, how old was somebody? So anything old, that in, in, in our scriptures of our pantheon that people had questions of how to depict them, yeah, if, to go to at the time. Well, yeah, if they wow. weren't, if they weren't already clearly enough described in his books, in his manuscript. See, we got to read the manuscript before it was published because we had to pick out the pictures. Wow. So first, he was picking out the pictures. He would write me letters saying, so one picture is like this, one picture is like that. And then he said, so you pick the rest of the pictures. That was for his Krishna book and his um, Bhagavad Gita. And then he asked us to pick out the pictures for his Bhagavatam. So, uh, and sometimes he would do the captions and then he told us to start doing the captions. So it was a lot of nice training there. Wow.